how you will get the current location of the client and how you're gonna monitor any change of the client position and how you're gonna mark a mark the client on the map we're going to see that in this video hi everyone this is subrat and you are watching fun of heuristics so on this channel you will get to know about the programming languages the framework and all about the algorithm so please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet so this video will be divided into two parts the first part will be how we're going to get the latitude longitude for the user and how we're going to monitor them by watching their position and the second part will be how we're going to use a map to locate the user so first we're going to implement how we're going to get the current position of the user and it's pretty simple it's not that hard so uh, in the navigator we have a geolocation so if i will just bring the api here so here you can see in the navigator we have a geolocation api which we can get the current location and the watch position so the current location give you the current latitude longitude and the watch position will create an event which will uh, raise itself or which will be called on change of the position of the user and it will be more accurate on the device which has gps so this navigator api will, will going to use your gps to get the latitude longitude first we're going to discuss this get current position and it's pretty easy also so i have created an app it's a normal angular app so we'll just implement on in it and in that we'll add the method here and g on in it so first we will check if the geolocation is supported in the device or not so we'll just do not navigator dot geolocation so if it's not supported then we're going to console log like and if the device is supporting the location and you just have enabled that one then here we can just do navigator dot geolocation and just get current position and here you you can grab the position and this we can log it so for now we're going to log uh, log the latitude longitude here so that you can access by position dot coordinates means cards and dot latitude uh, for the longitude also you can do the same now i'll save the file the application is built now now i will grab the tab to the screen and we will open the localhost 4200 and it will not ask me about the location because i already enabled the, the location for 4200 and if uh, if i'll go to the console here you can see we are getting our latitude longitude here and this is useful suppose you want a, a position of your client for a single time suppose you are creating a delivery app in that uh, while uh, giving the address you can ask uh, the current position and if the client is using the mobile device it will be the accurate position according to the gps so you don't need need not need to be worried that much and if you integrate your latitude longitude with the google map api then it will be pretty good and apart from that the google api means the geolocation api is more accurate on the https it's only allowed on https due to some security reason and that's how you will get your latitude and longitude now we'll uh, see the watch position and that i can't demonstrate to you because first of all my laptop doesn't have a gps and i can't if it has also i can move uh, the laptop to a certain code like to change in coordinate because we are stationary but it's you will get a uh, glimpse of how uh, how the things are working so here we will create a method and we'll call this from the on it okay as i told you also the navigator dot uh, geolocation has watch position and it will give a success callback and error callback and you have some options so on success like like uh, the above we will get the position here so you can grab that one and we can do the same 
I'll just uh, copy paste it here and after that on error so we'll just grab the error and here console log the error and the options is a object and you can give like this so the enable high accuracy i think it's the name uh, so so they sell that if you make it true then then it will give a accurate result but it will going to consume the power uh, but because it's going to use the gps uh, pretty frequently and the timeout is by default it's infinity but we are giving here five seconds that means for the five second uh, it will try to access the location till it not getting the location from the from the gps or from from the navigator location api and maximum age is the means that it will try to cache your result to you to your browser cache if you for a certain amount of time and this is also milliseconds so if you if you are giving zero that means uh, it will not cast at all so we'll save this thing now we'll go to the on init and we'll just call this method from here and as i told you the demonstration of watch position will not be that accurate in this video because uh, we are not moving but if you are going to create an application just uh, open it in your device and have a run then you can see and and just send this uh, position every time to your server if i'll go to the console here i'll just refresh here again here you can see we are getting the latitude longitude so this is how you're going to get uh, the position for more you can read this uh, article from MDN and it has a lot of, lot of things which browsers are supported and all. It will be pretty clear. So back to the video again. So here one more thing is you have to clear uh, the watch. Think example like in the Google map you are giving a location and you are going to that location. So here uh, you can grab uh, this ID and suppose you have the lo location where you want to go and you have some latitude value once the watch position giving you success here you can check this position dot latitude equal to equal to your latitude i'm just checking for latitude you can check with some accuracy means or you can check in a radius as well like within 25 meter or in a 5 meter that also you can check uh, I'm just currently I'm just checking if it is equal to the current latitude we have then we will going to clear the watch ID so to clear that we'll just navigate the geolocation dot clear watch and you'll pass the your ID if you clear it then after that it will not going to access or not going to ask the navigator for for a new coordinates it is required because suppose a thing like you have installed this in a pw application and that's running in the background and if you are not clearing the watch then if the user is already reached the position or, or is the already reached their destination still, still you are accessing uh, the location from the gps and that will going to drain the user's battery so this is very required and very important thing to use and here you can use your logic how to handle and all according to the use case you have so this is how you're gonna get the current location of your client or of the client device and this is how you're gonna monitor the client location and you can make a pretty cool app like a running app walking app going to a certain distance and you can get the latitude lo lo longitude and you can Mm, draw the lines on on your map and you can show to the user okay this is how you went for a jogging or for a walk and if you guys want me to make that that, that kind of uh, app please let me know in the comment so that we're going to make one similar kind of app so that where you can track the user and you can uh, add the animation or not, not the animation the line on your map now this is the end of the first part of the video now we will see how you gonna mark the user on a map and today we will going to use the leaflet so leaflet js is a open source platform and it's free 
Why we are using Leaplet, not Google Map? Because first of all, it's free and it's open source. Uh, Google Map, obviously it's accurate. They, they cover a lot of areas, so you will get updated uh, map, you get satellite view, you get uh, your uh, 360 views and all, but you have to pay. Uh, and that's also pretty easy. That's a kind of the same how you're going to use it here as it's free and it's just for uh, a sake of tutorial we are going to use the leaflet so today we're going to implement this one uh, so only the only the marker with a pop-up here and this is a quick start guide so first we will copy the css because this will again normal you know the css uh, I'll, we have to end we have to put the css on our index.html so let's put it here and you are putting the script file in the javascript file here and make sure that you are putting the javascript file after your css because once the css is loaded this is going to access those files and it's saying create a id and give a width and this will do later here they are saying you have to initialize the map with such certain coordinate so here we are going to add a tile layer so, so this is a tile and it's the, it's by the map box and we're going to use also the same here you need a access token to access your map and you can request for access token here i have created an account and i already got a access token so this is the default public access token i am using copy this little later so i'll go back and i'll just try to open in a new tab so that copy this access token later so first we have copied this too now uh, i'll just copy this map id and this will do it here we don't need all this thing i'll just create, create this map id and we'll just give as a map to be simpler and we'll go to our css and just add map of height at 60 vh and your width at 80 vh and margin go to your browser you can see you still now we are not seeing any anything because we haven't initialized our map yet so if you can see this is here as we are already using our position and we have our latitude and longitude from the get current position so here we will going to use the same so i'll just convert it to let because it's good to use let and the my map will be same and here you can give the map and you can see we are getting an error here l what you can do you can declare the l in the above and you can declare capital L and it I will give it as any and now it will be accessed as a global JavaScript variable and now we can do the same so here instead of giving this position dot coordinate so first what I will do I'll create a variable cards equals to position dot cards and we can access the position dot latitude here cards dot latitude and here you can access the cards dot longitude and this this 13 is the zoom level so if, if you're giving uh, one it's the means the zoom out it will be the whole map and if you are uh, giving i guess it's till 20 i guess so if you are giving 20 it will be the max zoom but 13 is the decent position of what you have now if you'll go to the our application here you can see we got our canvas with this all means zoom and zoom out icon and we are able to see this leaflet uh, tag what is missing is we have to add a layer because the map you are seeing it's a layer so i'll just copy the whole thing here and i'll go here and i'll just paste this thing and here you need the access token that i just so do and here i have created an account and i will copy the public key but you 
for a production if you are using this as a production app then use a proper you generated uh, key and that will going to use it here now if you see so now currently i'm in bangalore so it's just showing me bangalore i'm somewhere here as it's a first of all it's a uh, laptop device and it's not using the https that's why it's just getting the latitude longitude from from the isp and that's uh, giving the isp or latitude longitude of the bangalore now uh, we will go and see how you can add a marker like this here so we'll just copy the same code I'll, I'll just go to uh, our our code here so here we'll just create a marker here and we'll use the same coordinate latitude longitude or what you can do is you can make this also as an array and we can use the same here that long long and add to my map and my map is the map we have created here and also you uh, you can set lat latitude longitude by a method called set lat long and there you can pass your latitude longitude if you want to change the map on update okay so this will add a marker to to our code if you'll go to see and uh, go to the browser you can see the marker is added now uh, if you move it or if you try to zoom it you will see the marker will be stayed a uh, place in the same place and we'll try to add a pop-up now as we have seen here so there are two type of pop-up okay so one pop-up is the permanent pop-up and uh, one means it will just add to the same position and you can add a pop-up on the marker itself you can just get the marker and dot bind pop-up and the first thing is the uh, text what you want to be displayed there and it's the normal HTML will go there so here now if I will save if I'll go to the browser here you can see we have opened the pop-up and on click it is opening and also it's zooming because uh, on click we have uh, that that zoom is enabled okay so and uh, that is another pop-up which which will be marked uh, on the latitude longitude means on this place in this this pointed place i'll just go and copy this one as well again i'll just copy the lat long value i'm just putting like this and you have you can give them my map and you just convert it to lat so here what will happen is now you can see our marker is gone but it's there it's behind that one so it's uh, in the pop-up so the pop-up will be on the position but if you are giving a pop-up on a marker it will just to see the name of the marker so please hit the like button if you're liking the video till now and if you're liking my work and you want to support me you can support me on the patreon i'll give the link in the description below and please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future videos and please share this video among your friends family colleague so that they can also use or also they can spread to other people who whom this video will be helpful and please give some valuable comment in the comment section below we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye